Greetings, this is uh, Gilles Mancillon. Welcome to my channel. I wanted to come and wish you a happy Sunday. Um, I'm going to pull up a few cards to see the highest wisdom for us today is the Pathfinder. It is the ability to look through the conditions of our daily life in the other world and finding a new way of, of approaching it that will allow us to maneuver in a different way, which will allow new possibility for us to, to envision. What we need to understand is the paradigm shift. It is we are moving from, from uh, exclusion to inclusion, from fear into love, from, from illusion into truth. and from So, so there is all kinds of uh, newness in, in the process that that um, we are going through. What we need to do is to create. We have to be creative. Every time we, we think, we create. When we move, put our emotion, we, we accelerate the process of manifestation of our creation, of our mental creation. So the general message is trust, is trust. The more trust we have, the faster things go. Trust yourself, trust the universe, trust God, trust others, trust the world. For, for the illusion is, um, the, the opposition to to, our, to, to whatever whatever is opposing us is really what helps us grow, and so it is important to to, to not sit as a, as a, to move into the one flow. For the, those eclipses will reveal both truth and illusion, and to understand that. Um, there's been a, it's been very intense and, and now uh, Mercury is going to move forward today is, is starting to move forward and it's going to pass over where the eclipse was in a, in a couple of days and so we'll understand all those things that have been happening uh, we also have a full moon in Pisces which is very uh, for all Pisces like myself it is our moon of the but it is a very mystic moon so there will be a lot of deep um, emotional integration and then the next day Mars will go direct so we'll move all our creative sexual passionate energy forward with this Mars going forward um, the heart is, the, is, is really where it's at it's about connecting to the soul it's living in our heart to understand the, the, the heart the intelligence of the heart or the, as the philosopher um, the, the, the English philosopher Holm whom, whom, said it's, it's about emotional intelligence. It was from the um, 18th century, I believe. Um, but he knew, he understood that emotional intelligence is far more... Um far more advanced than, than just rational, logical intelligence because it blends in the well-being within the, the finding the good feeling sort. For it is a testing time to, to it is the it is a testing time. It is we have to, to test out to to, to, to to be reborn into something new. So there is a, a lot of those who are not willing to address that inner self will be uh, will have to face all kinds of chaos because the outer world has been, the third dimension is being dismantled. It is no longer, it's no longer, it will take a while, but it, it's there is already this higher plane where we can move into this more integrated states, which will, as we align to that, um, we no longer exist in time and space, for we are part of time and space, but we exist in the, in the heart of God, in the love of God. And, and once we discover that, all our, uh, our wish gets fulfilled, for God knows and has all the means and which to, to fulfill whatever we need from, from the heart. And so it is coming from, as, you, as we come from a pure heart, it is much easier to receive from the universe, for it is a... Um, to, to tune into that timeless presence, uh, the soul and spirit of God. And, and, and in a sense, um, there is one discovery we need to make in terms of science is the eternal soul, to recognize ourselves as eternal, immortal beings. And, and to know this grand portal of ascension that all humans can pass through it, and, and that is that true nature, that is the one thing that science has not discovered yet. And, and that is why science fiction, um, science fiction kind of project is a negative, uh, fearful. Um, fearful thoughts into humanities or opening to, to possibilities. So, so it projects some kind of future vision, but they do not have that, that inner understanding of their God self, and so they, do not, they cannot project into a higher plane. Some of them have, though. Uh, it's the same thing with superheroes. Somebody asked me the questions when you look at the Hollywood superheroes. They're very polarized as good guys and bad guys. But, and I talk about superpower, but it is not how it happens. It, uh, first superpower you want to get is empathy. Everything comes from through love and gentleness and inclusion. You can never hurt anybody with those powers. Otherwise, it will be greatly mirrors. The mirror will not... Um, you will not enjoy the mirror if you use your superpower to, to hurt anyone. So, so the understanding, of course, that's kind of common sense. Uh, but uh, in many sense, it comes from empathy, the ability to sense and feel, the, the, and then telepathy to communicate with your mind, and then, then precognition, understanding of past uh, karmic, past relation in, in relationship to your soul, and then precognition, the ability to see into the future, and then it will open up to more. But uh, in many sense, none of the... 
the, those all the, all those visionary uh, science fiction uh, uh, ideas were, were atheist uh, philosophies, and so we're going to move into the fifth dimension, and so all of those will will, will discover better in many sense. For understanding wisdom is practical in all dimensions, we all need to find wisdom. Uh, or understanding that life is a mirror, life is uh, it reflects our inner conditions. So when we tune in, we are always able to use life as a mirror and to learn to give and to receive. It is very important. Right now, we have this memory. We are recovering memory. We're trying to cleanse up the timeline to to get rid of all kinds of old karmas for to organize our past memory as as just um, useful experiences that have led us to our freedom and liberation. And so, uh, also, the, it's through the, the process of activating certain parts of our brain. Our DNA is activating, and a new part of our brain, new synapses are being created within the brain. When we are in meditation and we have a vision or we see a higher light, it is a, a new synapse that is being created. And as the whole brain begins to refunction in its natural state, in its optimum condition, we'll discover amazing, uh, uh, amazing. Uh, it is a slow process, but it, it will um, amazing uh, new powers. New, uh, new connection to the world, uh, new level of function, new senses, um, and and so so it is all uh, pro in the process of happening. The the painting behind me is uh, is a painting on on uh, on a board. I started it in in 1992. I was living in South Beach in Miami. It was a very fashion place at the time. It must still be, but uh, uh, and so the, the, it's it's a fashion collage. There is like six six photo collage, and on top of it, I painted and I I wrote this poem, poem of Charles Baudelaire. It's called um, it's called Le Revenant. It goes like this: Comme un ange à l'œil fauve, je reviendrai dans ton alcôve et vers toi glisserai sans bruit parmi les ombres de la nuit. Et je te donnerai ma brune, des baisers froids comme la lune et des caresses de serpents autour d'une fosse rampant. Quand viendra le matin livide, tu trouveras ma place vide où jusqu'au soir il fera froid. Comme d'autres par la tendresse sur ta vie et sur ta jeunesse, moi je veux régner par l'effroi. It's a very, very uh, dark kind of poem, but it was, it was powerful in influencing me. It's from the, the Flowers of Pain, from Charles Baudelaire. It is, it is, uh, and uh, I wanted to say also, uh, I, speak, I spoke a bit, a bit about drawings. Drawing is very important. Everything starts from drawing. Computers, cars, uh, planes, uh, clothes, everything is, it starts with drawing. So drawing is very important. It's good to, to learn to draw, to enjoy. But if you, if you draw, it is, uh, and you don't want to keep it in, in a book. You want to put it on your wall for like, and look at it for a whole week. So you'll know which one works and which one do not work. Uh, here I'm going to show like, three drawings. Uh, this one, for instance, is a, is a drawing from uh, 2006. 13. So it, it's about this, this guy who's like meditating and it's like he's, he's very well anchored and he's got this light body above him. It's like a series of spheres uh, that, uh, that lead up to the top. Oh, this, uh, from the same series, is the, there is this one. It's, uh, it's kind of funny. He's this, this got this, this little guy that's like really in, like, in a strange... Uh, it's like trying to get through the door. Well, those are drawings that are pretty complete. Like well, this one, um, this one, it looks unbalanced, but I think it works well. It says "I am," and there is a, there is a symbol here that's the symbol of uh, of the goddess Anomia, which is means divine order. It's a heart with a star on top of it. The, those three sticks here in astrology means the light, huh? and it says "I am." Uh, I, I thought maybe to do something else, but it, it is signed, and I think it'll be good. This one I can, I'll probably frame. Well, I hope you had uh, find this video interesting. I wanted to come by and wish you a good day. I'm going to finish with a little song. It's a, it's, it's a song, I think, of Artgard Funken, but it was made very famous by a, 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 the Monty Pythons. It's a, I recommend this movie if you have not seen it. Of course, everybody's seen The Life of Brian, but it goes like this. Some things in life are bad. They can really make you mad. Other things just make you swear and curse. When you're chewing on life griddle, don't grumble like a riddle. This, this will help things turn out for the best. So always look on the bright side of your life. Always look on the light side of your life. If life seems jolly rotten, there's something you've forgotten, and that's to laugh and smile and dance and sing. When you're feeling in the dumps, don't be silly chumps. Just pursue your, pursue your lips with soul, that's the same. 
So always look on the bright side of death. Just before you draw your terminal breath. Life's a counterfeit when you look at it. Life's a laugh and that's the joke, it's true. You'd see it's all a show, keep them laughing as you go. Just remember the last laugh is on you. And always look on the bright side of life. And always look on the right side of life. Always look on the bright side of your life. And always look on the light side of your life. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the song reminds us that uh, life is but a show and, and we are moving through that. Uh, so we may as well make them laugh as we go, make uh, enjoy. If, if we do not enjoy life, it's because we have forgotten. We have forgotten to laugh, to smile, to dance and to sing. So let us, uh, let us start with this new paradigm uh, from today. We will, uh, every day we can find ways to improve ourselves and, and increase the quality of our life. Well, I, I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful Sunday, and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you.